I've been sent the Godox wireless mic, the Verso SM2 for Sony cameras. And I think finally we've got a serious contender from some of those other well-known brands. And this is what we have in the box. We've got two transmitters and a receiver, that's the TX and RX, two dead cats, two lev max, cables to connect to any camera, cables to connect to mobile phones, and cable to connect to your PC. So we're just going to do the range test now. So I've got the mic on the Sony a7R5 and I'm just going to go onto that bridge up over there and see how well we still pick up the audio. So let's get up there and have a listen. <laughs> this is, I've tried this before. I'm not totally sure of the distance, but we'll work that out in a minute. Well, here we are up on the bridge and our camera's over there on the other side, that small little dot not totally sure of the distance. So I've got a drone with me. Let's pop it in the air, fly it over there, and then we can see what distance it is. Oh, sorry, mate. No, no, it's cool, cool. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> so we've just got the DJI Mini 4 Pro here. So let's just send that over. There's our Sony camera there. And at the moment we're saying 71 meters. Now this says that this does 200 meters. So interesting to see what the audio is like this. I'm facing the camera and I'm guessing it can see me quite clearly. I'm just going to turn my back to the camera just to see how this audio works now. Facing the camera again. And now I'm just going to bring the drone back. Okay, so we're going to put the drone out at 200 meters just so that we can see how far this mic will work. Probably going to have to go up a little bit. So we're at 50 meters. I don't know if you can see that. Let's put it in the skyline slightly. Should be able to just see that. 100 meters. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be filming that far away from anything at 100 meters. That's 200 meters. So there we have it, 200 meters. It's that dot in the sky over there. So the transmitters have a clip on the back. They've got the record button, a reset button here. If you want to record directly onto the device and there's an SD card that it records onto there. And here you have your charging point. That's a USB-C. On top here, you've got the mic. This is where you plug in your lav mic. And this is your on off button and mute. And then along the top here, you've got your LED lights. The first one's for the battery indicator, works the normal way. Uh, red when it's charging, green when it's fully charged. And then the Bluetooth, that's always a blue light. And then you've got the record light and then it'll pause. Uh, if it's flashing, it means it's in recording mode. And if it's solid red, that means you've got it on mute. So you just need to be careful of that. To mute it, you just press this top once. X and it has the hot shoe smart connector here for Sony cameras. This is your on button and this is your menu button. On this side, you have for recharging and then a reset button. This is like a function key. So once you hit the menu, you can then scroll right and left with that or push down to select. You'll see a plus and minus there to just turn the dials. That's the indicator for adjusting the volume settings. Then you've got your camera connection there. That's just for connecting to the camera. It's not for audio. And then this has a mic here as well. So you're mic'd up at that point there as well. So let's just look at the menu here. So to start the connection, you just hold this down for two seconds and you can see it's just turned on. And then we'll hold four seconds, long hold. Then we can see the screen comes on and you'll see the Bluetooth connection light has also come on. Now this is incredibly easy to work with and the menu is very simple. You just hit the menu button on this side here. You'll see from the screen here, I've only got one of the mics turned on. And so that is showing the connection and the volume as we speak. The other one is off. And indeed, if I was to 
speak loudly into it, you can see it just jumps up to the red. If I press that menu, and then we can make backlight adjustments. So we just press this down once, and then we can turn it up or down, make our selection. We can use this wheel to come down to now track. And in this mode, you select, and I've set it at stereo at the moment. So if I'm using two microphones, then they'll put them on two different tracks which in post-production means we can edit them separately. If I scroll the wheel, I can have a safety track running, or I can have it in mono, which means everything will be recorded onto one track. Or if you're just using one mic, then you're better off just using it in mono. Coming down again, volume. To come out of that, I hit the menu button again. Then we have the mic. So here I've got both mics recording, the one in the receiver and one in the transmitter. And of course we've got the stereo, so those will be on both tracks. You could have just the RX transmitter or just the TX, the transmitter, or just the RX, the receiver. Again, press the menu button to come out. We can take a shortcut to the volume by just pressing down and then we can just adjust the volume there and quick access press it again and then we come out of that so to make it work with our sony camera we just take the receiver and slide the connector on the hot shoe click it into place that is all connected that automatically connects to the camera now you can jump into your menu here adjust your volume settings for your camera and refine it further there or you can adjust the settings on the mic as i've just shown you and so you just click that on your shirt and as a content creator for run and gun solution that's ideal just clip it on your shirt you clip it onto your talent or you could put it underneath your shirt and clip it onto a lanyard and that's a really good way of concealing it alternatively we can just use our lav mic here we can just tuck this in our shirt as normal, clip this on the belt clip, and we're good to go. You don't need to worry about the record button because it's recording directly into the camera, but you might want to use this as a backup. So if you've got an SD card in here, then you can hit the record button here and record a second version on there. So if you're worried about your signal cutting in and out, or you're moving far from camera, then this is a perfect solution to run a backup in that way. Well, for outdoor shooting, we can use the dead cat. It fits really easily. There's a little pin just here that clips into where the lapel mic would go, the lav mic, like that. And it just sits on top of the microphone. And we can just clip it on like that. And then that will cut out any wind noise. To connect this to other cameras, all you need to do is go into the port there that has a camera icon on it and plug that into the camera audio port for external mics and either with the Sony or with any other camera, you could use this system as well. You might want to be using this mounted somewhere else, but still use your Sony camera and you can of course use that cable now, if you want to film onto your mobile phone, use the red cable. Make sure you get the little connector the right way round. And I, Professor Andrew Jones, sat and talked about if we might win control of the council, we should try and not just do normal things, but to do huge things. So that's our test completed. So let's just get back in the studio and listen to those audio comparisons. Having used these out in the field, I was really impressed. They worked really well. They were really easy to use, really easy to set up and adjust. And I think when you're working at speed, that's really good. So for content creators, you're out filming events and weddings. I think these are ideal. They're really lightweight. I think uh, they're not as tough as some other ones out there. And I think uh, as long as you looked after them, you'll have no problem at all. I think for everyday use, they're absolutely fantastic. So 
I hope you found that useful and you learned all about these. Got any questions, drop them in the comments below. There's a link to uh, more information about these. And if you want to know about, more about audio equipment, there's a video playlist over here. Show me the love, subscribe to the channel here, and I will see you hopefully over there.